Hi, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so this is officially on www.army.mil, the official homepage of the United States Army, ladies and gentlemen. I want to show you this before I even begin to lie about this. Breaking. All right. Or, I'm sorry, www.army.mil article. Yada, yada, yada. Breaking. Army scientists successfully teleport soldiers. Now that you know I'm not lying about this, let me continue. Because this is actually a very interesting story. Uh, Natick, Massachusetts. Army scientists have successfully teleported a fully equipped squad from Massachusetts Research Development Facility to a training area in Germany. The Natick Soldier System Center, uh, NSSC, announced today, or yesterday or day before, I forget when it was, the nine human research volunteer fresh out of advanced infantry training were participating in experiments in the uh, Doriet Climate Chambers at NSSC when they disappeared and moments later materialized at Grafenwar training area completely unharmed. The chambers are fully capable. I'm sorry, the chambers are capable of replicating any climate or weather in the world, but have never before been used in this manner. So, before you even see that, here's this, here's this. I'm not lying here, folks. Teleportation made in a famous Star Trek television series and movies had now, until what the Army is calling the Natick Incident, a hypothetical way of moving objects from place to place. American writer Charles Ford is reporting, if coined the word, 1931. Officials at Natick were elated by the event, which promised to one day revolutionize the way American troops and are equipped and are transported around the globe. It is. It also could ultimately make overseas bases obsolete, as forces are instead moved from U.S. soil to remote trouble spots in a blink of an eye also. This proves that we can no doubt go, you know, to Mars and other things with this same technology. All we have to do is we have to ship a rocket over there that has a power supply for the same unit that was used and just basically replicate the events. Oh, I'm certain it'd be a little bit different, but they've done it before. I guarantee we have a base and everything else. Anyways, folks, officials at Natick... Okay, I already read that. Uh, no one's more impressed than I am, said Benjamin Storm, who managed a 61-year-old climate chambers at Natick. One moment I was chatting with the young soldiers, the next they all vanished into thin air. Soldiers were dressed in combat gear for a revolutionary experiment, being monitored by Storm and his colleagues when they were sent from one continent to the other. Still photographs of the event were captured in the chamber have been released by the Army, but I doubt any of these pictures are of uh, the actual events. After thorough medical examination at the Army Hospital, they were flown back to the United States and returned to duty at Natick, or Natick, whichever way you pronounce it. Uh, it's one thing to see Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock do it in the movies, but it's another to have it happen before you in real life, said Private Kelly McCoy, one of the teleported soldiers. I felt a little tingling, and the next thing I know, I'm in Bavaria. I always wanted to visit Europe, but I figured that I'd go by plane. Storm and the other Natick researchers are now pouring over mountains of data from the development in hopes of replicating it. Meanwhile, the Army quickly established a teleportation study task force, uh, which will be based in Natick, leading scientists from private industry and academia worldwide are converging on the chambers to lend whatever assistance they can. I'll show that. Hang on. So you can, if you want to be part of this, obviously, you know, when you message Natick, tell them you want to be part of the uh, task force. If you have computer science and various uh, technological backgrounds. Uh, according to Storm, the device, not unlike a flux capacitor seen in the Back to Future movie series, was employed during the experiment. This led to immediate speculation the Army was also working on time travel.
The try and travel experiment of generating a 1.21 gigawatts is no trivial feat. Ha ha ha. And basically at this point he says, we're only concerned with place, not time, Storm said, a twinkle in his eyes. This development could change the entire course of human history. Now, due to the fact this was done probably at or around April Fool or uh, April 1, I wonder whether or not this is true. A lot of people say it's not, but you know what? I'm going to go out of the whim and say, you know what? They've done this in like the 70s and the 80s, etc. So to say that this isn't true and that they haven't done this already to one feature or another, I'm just going to say, fine, they've done it. And uh, one of these days I'll contact Natick and see what terms are getting involved in the uh, syst in the uh, the training teams that are doing it. So we'll find out sooner or later. Thanks, guys.